What is going on guys? Now that Android 11 is officially out on the original Surface Duo, I did one of the things that I always love doing with phones and that is testing out the cameras. I wanted to see if this new software had made any changes to the camera's performance at all that I could appreciate. So I grabbed my original Surface Duo, I grabbed my Surface Duo 2 with that big old hefty camera bump on the back and I ran around the house and I ran around outside and I took a bunch of pictures and I was going to do a comparison there. In fact, I even tweeted a little teaser here saying, maybe I was gonna post this video Thursday or Saturday. I don't know when I'm gonna post it. Probably Thursday, maybe it's Thursday right now when you're watching it, that'd be pretty cool. And this person here, Daniel Falconer, great name, said he'd be way more interested in a video of Duo One stock versus Duo One with Gcam. Now that it's on Android 11, apparently Gcam works well now. Someone mentioned it on Reddit. I would show you the Reddit thread and the person's name and so forth, but Reddit is down. I swear to you, Reddit is down right now. Look, I'm trying to load it right now. Nothing's happening. It's down. It's crazy. Whatever. I'll put a link in the description to the thread because I can't show you. But thanks to Daniel here for pointing this out because I then did go and find this version of Gcam, which is the same version that I run on here when I want to take a night mode photo because it's better on night mode. I installed it on the original Surface Duo and boy, oh boy, did I take a whole bunch of photos and we're going to run through them right now and I'm going to show you what I think the difference is and how I feel like it's performing. But I guess first what I should do, because I lied to you, is I should show you what this Gcam app looks like in general, how it performs, kind of give you just a general thought about how the camera is performing now and how that Gcam app actually does affect us. So let's go to the overhead camera now. And there is my beautiful uh, Surface Duo. Let's open this bad boy up and unlock it. Boom. So here is the stock camera app, okay? And everything is pretty much as you would expect. Uh, spoiler alert, that is a OnePlus uh, 7 Pro acting as my overhead camera. If you didn't know that, now you know. Um, and it works pretty much the same as it always did. The shutter lag is still sometimes there, sometimes not. I bet right now, not much shutter lag. Sometimes it's fine. Sometimes you hit it and it thinks and it waits and then it takes a picture. Same thing as usual. Now, one thing that I did find to be very interesting, and I want you to know, or I want you to tell me if this is the same for you. In the past, whenever I would flip the screen around like this, it would just instantly switch the screen. Now what seems to be happening is either nothing or now I'm getting a double tap to switch. I do not know if this is an intended function or if this is an accident, but this is way better, way, way, way better. Because now let's say I'm here and I'm taking a picture. I'm doing this and I'm taking a picture. What would happen a lot is it would think that I've rotated and it would automatically switch to the other screen and I didn't actually want it to do that. And then I would have to put my head uh, straight through a wall out of frustration and that's no good. So I want you to tell me if that's what's happening on your duo as well. I think that's a better an improvement. So let's now look at the Gcam port is there. Okay, so it does look a little bit different, but you're going to notice that it's formatted correctly. One of the big problems trying to run some of these Gcam ports on Duo before is they would all be scrunched and just weird looking and they didn't work well at all. Well, this one's fine. The only thing that I did to this at all from stock is I changed the Google automatic white balance to automatic. So I wanted to use that because it tends to help with the image quality. I went into more settings. I went down to advanced and I turned on HDR plus control, which allows me to have HDR plus enhanced turned on. The result of that is that whenever I take a picture, there's a little bit of a delay there. Of course, it was, fo it was, it was hunting for focus there for some of that. So let's do it again. That's it. That's how long it takes to take a picture with this, generally speaking, as long as it's not searching for focus. And it will take a better picture because that HDR Plus Enhanced is turned on. And in general, this app does work. I mean, it works pretty much the same as the stock app, uh, but maybe it takes better pictures. Maybe it doesn't. I will tell you this. There is a proper night sight mode on here, and that is a game changer for Surface Duo in low light. But that is way, way far enough for the actual software. But I didn't want you to see that stuff before we got started. But now we are going to jump into the photo comparison. I swear this time I'm not lying. All right. So what we're going to be doing here is first looking at Duo One stock software, Duo Two, then Duo One with Gcam so that you can see a full comparison. So 
Picture number one is on the original Surface Duo, and I'm gonna call out a few things here. First off, this picture just kind of looks a little dull, a little hazy up here in this general region. As we look into the shadowy areas, not what I would consider to be a lot of detail, quite a bit of grain in those areas. And if we look up here at some further area, the tree here as this loads in, not super duper detailed, not horrible in terms of detail, but overall, it's kind of a bland photo. When we look at Duo 2, this is a, I mean, it's a much better picture. It's much crisper. Look at the added detail in the underside of my carport here. And this is relatively difficult uh, to do. And Duo 2 does a, does a much better job. The colors are much crisper, much brighter, much more saturated. Just a much more fun image. And I think it looks quite good. If we go to Duo 1 though with the Gcam software, it looks pretty decent. Now, I will say that it did kind of hue things in a cooler, more bluish, almost purplish tint, which is a little bit strange, but you can see that the undercarriage here is much more detailed. It's not as detailed, right, as Duo 2, but it's way, way better uh, than the original Duo. I did have to kind of stand slightly different because of the way that the sun was hitting, I just couldn't quite get it to, uh, to focus there because a little bit of time had passed between these when I went back and did this picture. But you can kind of get the general idea. The colors are a little bit brighter, a little bit better pop to them, and the uh, the dynamic range is definitely better. So here we go with another pretty difficult picture here for any camera, and Duo does not do a great job. This is, I mean, obviously there's a bright light here and then a tree here. This is a tough picture in general, and there's just, there's no detail at all. It, it, it could not handle this at all. Uh, Duo 2 does quite a bit better. It does get kind of bluish. However, on Duo 2, you can still see some detail on the tree as this loads in. There we go. And you can actually see that the leaves exist and that they are sort of a reddish brownish color. Whereas on Duo 1, uh, it's just all one big gnash of nothing. With the Gcam software, it might be a little bit better, but it still is not great. You can see the leaves, the color of the leaves, a little bit better with the Gcam software. But this is a pretty like really, really hard picture for any camera. So we're gonna move on from there to this one. A pretty standard duo photo. It's hazy, it's kind of dull, it's kind of dingy. Details okay, but it just looks like the saturation got sucked out of the picture. And if you're looking for something that's not the Samsung look, that's not the, you know, oversaturated look, well, you're good here, but I would argue this is actually undersaturated. This is not what my eyes saw. This looks like some sort of strange a uh, world where just all the fun's been sucked out of the planet. Uh, on Duo 2, this is nice. This is bright. This is punchy. This is colorful. I, I think it's it's a much nicer picture. The detail is a bit better as well as we look at the branches in these trees. Can Duo on the Gcam software fare any better? And I think that it definitely, definitely does. There's much better contrast over here. The color, the light. Look at the darkness here and the brightness there. It's not as good as this. But I think it's definitely better than this. This has no life at all. This is a much more lively image for sure. Uh, back to Duo One. This is a place where Duo One actually always did okay was when you got up really close to something. And I think it does an okay job here. Duo Two is a bit warmer and you get a better bokeh, more separation here just because you have a larger sensor. Uh, the aperture is, is more conducive of that background blur. And with the Gcam software, I think it's fine. I was kind of, I didn't match these up as well as I would like to, but the detail is pretty good. I mean, it, I think it does a, a pretty fine job there. Moving inside, this is an area where the light is not perfect and the original Duo suffers. This is grainy. I mean, it's not even that dark in here. This is actually right over my shoulder. And look how grainy and la the lack of detail there. Go to Duo 2, I mean, that's way better. The color is more accurate. There's no none of that grain, much better detail. And on the Gcam software, I think you kind of split the difference. And that's, it's okay. It's not as uh, as detailed maybe as the Duo 2 picture, but it's fine. It's definitely a lot better than the uh, stock software. Uh, moving here to some plants that we have in the house. This is a very well lit area. And Duo actually does okay here. I don't really have any big complaints about this picture. When you move to Duo 2 though, you just have more contrast and more punch in general. Just a punchier looking image. And on the Gcam software, you probably split the difference. I think it does probably look a little better than the original, but it's not a huge 
difference if we move to another plant that's in a bit of a darker area of this same enclosure uh, you can see that we're already starting to lose some detail if you look over here on this corner we've definitely lost a lot of detail and that's pretty conducive of what we would expect to see from the original duo on duo two we don't really have that going on it's much clearer you have that focus fall off because of the larger sensor and with the gcam software you basically fix that loss of, of detail pretty much completely. It looks much, much better than the original one did. So what we're seeing here is that the Gcam software just tends to take a better picture in general. And when the light gets lower, it always takes a much better picture. Back inside the house again in sort of a darker area, original Duo suffers from all the same problems we've talked about. There's low quality, low detail, lots of grain. Duo 2 cleans that up. It's brighter. The colors are more accurate. And on the Gcam software, we split the difference. It's still a little bit unsaturated, but it's quite a bit better than the alternative. And then if we turn the lights off, Duo is absolutely abysmal. The detail is terrible. On Duo 2 with night mode, cleans it up and it looks okay. It's fairly passable. And then with the Gcam software on Duo 1, it's very passable. Massive, massive improvement. Here is a selfie using the only camera that Duo has. Looks okay, a little hazy, but whatever on Duo 2. More contrast, more detail for sure, a better picture. And with the Gcam software, this kind of got weird because it cranked the contrast up to a level that I think is actually like unflattering. Like it's almost too detailed. Like looking here, and I'm making a different face because the sun was more in my eyes. But I feel like uh, the Gcam software aged me. I feel like something went horribly wrong here, and I, I feel like it aged me. But the detail, look, the detail's great on the Gcam software. Moving to portrait mode on the stock camera, this looks angelic. I appear to be glowing almost on the, uh, on the stock software. On Duo 2, pretty similar. There, there's not a world of difference, but I do think this is a clearer picture with more contrast. And for good measure, this is actually using the primary camera on Surface Duo 2 instead of the selfie camera. And by doing that, you do get better detail. And it's harder to do it, but it is something that you can, in fact, do because Duo 2 doesn't just have a selfie camera. It has a primary camera as well that's going to be able to take a picture. It's pretty good, too. And the Gcam software, again, I feel like I look like I'm 15 years older and I don't know what is going on here. There's too much detail. There's too much contrast. I don't know what to make of this, but it's it's detailed. I'll give it that. Now, moving on to video. This is the original Duo's video. Um, I mean, it's, it's okay. You know, it's not super detailed. It does look very washed out to me. And the stabilization is pretty bad. If we jump to Duo 2... It's brighter, it's punchier, it's more colorful, but the stabilization is horrifically bad. I don't know what is going on with the stabilization on Duo 2, but it is absolutely dreadful. And with the Gcam software, let's see if we can get any improvement here on the color. Maybe it's a little bit better. The stabilization is also absolutely horrible on these things. If you're a videographer, Surface Duo and Duo 2 are not the phone for you. And there you go. I think that's a pretty good comparison. And the general idea that I came away with was that the stock software seems to be about the same. Not really a big change other than the flippy floppy thing that I mentioned. But of course, that does carry over to the Gcam software. The Gcam software all around is just better. It takes better pictures all the way around. The, the portrait mode is a little bit weird to me. I don't know what it was doing to my face on some of those pictures, but maybe that's something that you can work with, or maybe it was just the lighting was strange or something, but keep that in mind. And night mode is a game changer. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's better than Duo 2's camera because it's just not. And I didn't even use the telephoto or the wide angle for any of these pictures. So Duo 2's camera is still light years better. However, I feel pretty comfortable in telling you right now that if you have an original Surface Duo and you are now running Android 11, check out the link down below this video, down below that like button, and download this APK. It is safe, it is fine, don't worry about it, and it is a much better camera than what you had before on Android 10. Guys, thanks for watching this lovely video. Thanks to Daniel, again, for pointing this out to me because I did not know that this was a thing that had changed. So thanks again for that. Uh, thanks, 
everybody tell him thanks for making this video be a thing. I'll see you on the next one, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.